In this video, I'll just quickly go over the MapleSim workspace and how you can actually create a model using all the different tabs and, and palettes around you. So what we're looking at right in the middle is the model workspace. And this is where you drag components in and you create your system level model. Off to the right, there are three tabs. There's the inspector tab, the settings tab, and the plots tab. The inspectors tab will populate with information when I click on a component in my workspace. So here for the Revolute joint, we can see that we can change all different parameters associated with that component. The settings tab is for simulation options. So we can change simulation uh, duration. We can change absolute or rel relative tolerances. And the plots tab is where we can create custom layouts for our simulation results for plots and graphs. Going over to the, the top here, there are some toolbars where we can uh, start to lay our model out so we can create uh, different icons and we can attach probes in certain ways. On the left are two tabs, the project and libraries tab, and they contain palettes that hold all of the different components that you're going to be using when creating a model. So the libraries tab, that includes all of our default components, examples, and, um, and within here there are hundreds of different components that you can expand out see the components that you'd like to use, and then that's where you drag them in to your workspace. The project tab is where you manage your model. So you can look at uh, your model tree. You can store results of different simulations. You can see the probes. Uh, you can attach any sort of documents that you'd wish to this so that you can send this file around to other people and have relevant information included. Uh, and lastly, on the bottom here, there's a, a console that shows us if we have warnings or errors. Uh, if I go to run this simulation, then I'll see that the console is starting to show us the progress of that simulation. Another part of the workspace is the plot windows that, uh, that show up. Now these are default plots from our probe and uh, we could have specified custom ones in that other tab I showed you. Uh, and the last window the, that I wanted to show you was the 3D visualization window. So this is a 3D visualization of that slider crank. And here you can change different options on perspectives and, uh, and you can zoom in and out and you can pan around.